In this video, we will walk you through how to enable support of the two additional color channels for your Radeon G4 Pro lights on your new Apex using a WXM module. First, you will need to make sure that you have the latest AOS on your new Apex. If you're not sure how to do this, click on the link on the screen and it will show you how to update your AOS and modules. The first thing we need to do is log in to your Fusion account. Next, we're going to select which Apex we want to update the WXM module on. As you can see, we have a Vortec Pump, Radeon G3 Pro, a Radeon G4, and a Radeon G4 Pro. On the G4 Pro, you can see there is only six color channels, just like the G3s. So to be able to add the two new color channels, let's update the WXM. To do this, click on the dashboard icon, navigate to the expansion icon, then go to the module icon. As you can see, the WX module shows OK. This is because the update is not a mandatory for all Ecotech devices. Select the WXM module. Now navigate to the Action drop-down menu and select Update Firmware first. Then send the update to the WXM module. You will see a pop-up during this process. This update takes about one minute. Now that the update is complete, select OK. Then you're going to select the module icon to see if the update took place. Now you can see the WXM module went from 10 OK to 11 OK. Next, we are going to do the update to the WXM RF. Click the WXM module again. Choose the configure from the action drop down menu. As you can see on the status line, it shows Rev 1.14 is the current RF version. This does not support the eight color channels for the Gen 4 Pro lights. To update, select the WXM RF update button. You will see the pop-up during this update process that can take approximately five minutes. Now look at the wireless status light on the WXM module. You'll see it flashing orange during this process, then it'll go to a solid orange and then a solid green. Also, the status light for Communication with the Apex will flash also. Once this is completed to a solid green, unplug the AquaBest cable and plug it back in. Just to let you know, the completed pop-up can show up before the process is done, so make sure you watch your WXM module. Select OK once you have reconnected the WXM module AquaBus cable. Now let's reboot the Apex by going to the dashboard. Now select the expand icon navigate to the miscellaneous page, then select the reboot at the bottom of the page, and then send that to the Apex. Once you get the message that the configuration has been sent, click OK. In the restart, you're going to see the orange status light turn off, then go to a green, purple, green, and then back to a solid orange. Now that the Apex as rebooted, let's check to see if the update took place with the WXM module. Go to the dashboard, then select the expand icon. Now navigate over to the module icon, click on the WXM module, then click configure from the drop down action menu. Now you can see that the status shows 1.15 instead of the 1.14 and that the pumps and lights all say OK. Let's navigate to the dashboard to see if the Gen 4 Pro now has eight color channels. To do this, select on the gear icon next to the Radeon G4 Pro, and as you scroll down to the bottom, you can see that there's two new colors, a warm white and a violet. You can now adjust these two colors to your current programming by sliding the bars up and down to the desired color that you want and intensity. Once you have that selected, now save that to your WXM module.
Once the configuration is sent successfully, click OK. Now head back to your dashboard. Your WXM and RF modules have been updated successfully for Gen 4 colors. If for some reason you had some difficulties doing the update, feel free to contact us at neptunesystems.com, go to the support tab, then contact support, and scroll to the bottom of the page and fill out the form, and we'll be glad to assist you as soon as possible. Thank you.